All right, what's up, everybody? This is 2017-18 Status Basketball. This is a five-box break. This is break number seven. Two random teams each, 15 spots. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Remember, no veteran base card ship, but all of these ship. The autographs, the rookies, and the inserts, of course. So we got all 30 teams in. Um, let's double up your names here. Basketball will be absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's roll your dice. I mean, it's not just Zion either. You got Morant, who was the number one pick in any other draft. I like Hachimura from Gonzaga. All right, I clicked the roll dice, but it's loading. So maybe random.org is down here. There we go. Eight times, five and a three. I have to fill time in between rolling the dice, I guess. All right, eight times. Let's do your names first. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There's some wrong. Down to Todd. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean... I don't know too much. I mean, I watch basketball, but um, I don't know if Zion is truly worth the hype. But, I mean, we'll have to see, I guess, you know. All right, eight times. I think it depends on uh, what team he goes to, too, if he plays really well his rookie season, obviously. All right, Ram.org slow tonight. All right, eight times. Two, but for sure he'll sell really well either way. So if you get hit, I guess you could just sell it. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Pistons down to the Knicks. So I'm wrong. You got the Pistons. Allen, you got the Celtics. Chris, Clippers, Grizzlies. Jared, Sixers. Allen, Warriors. Chris, Magic Hornets. Uh, Joel, you got the Spurs. Chris with the Blazers. Clay with the Hawks. Ted with the Pelicans. Dave with the... Bucks, Jared with the Nuggets, Clay with the Kings, Chris with the Timberwolves, Jared with the Pacers, Todd with the Heat, uh, Todd with the Nets, Clay with the Heat, Chris with the Cavaliers, Jared with the Raptors, so I'm wrong with the Rockets, Joel with the Lakers, Ted with the Thunder, Clay with the Mavs, Chris with the Jazz, Dave with the Suns, Chris with the Bulls and the Wizards, and Todd, you got the Knicks. So we have some people saying he'll bust. Some people saying he'll be, his ceiling as high as LeBron. So, yeah, I mean, you never know. So, I'm just going to wait and see. I do like Morant a lot, though, too. And yeah, like I said, I like Hachimura from Gonzaga a lot, too. Being on the West Coast, I do watch a lot of West Coast Conference basketball. And uh, I was always impressed, although he didn't have the best competition. But he had some solid games against, like, Duke in the Maui tournament and stuff. All right, anybody want to trade on this one? If not, we'll go ahead and get started since we do have a break sold out after. Yeah, that's that would be my fear with Zion is yeah the shooting, kind of like a Ben Simmons type, um, where teams would just beg him to shoot a three pointer. But yeah, I definitely can't remember a player that's been more hyped. I guess since LeBron. Whether it's worthy or not. I don't know if it's just because of social media now. But I just. I even like. Uh, some other players. Alright. Ted is asking Thunder for Hornets maybe. Uh, Chris Layton if you're in here. 
Maybe Thunder for Hornets. But yeah, I mean that's a great thing. Definitely, you can sell the hits if if you don't think he'll he'll pan out. <laughs> I think they'll sell for a lot. Um, it'll be crazy though. All right, sorry, Ted. I don't think um, I don't think Chris is in the room here. So trade window closed. Good luck, everybody. We got the five boxes off the shelf here for this break. So status, first box. Good luck. Man, more athletic Anthony Bennett. Ooh. That's tough. Damn. Anthony Bennett. Did he ever play in the NBA at all? He's the number one pick, right? I remember that year in basketball. That was a year where, for some reason, what, 12 teams passed on Giannis. Now, if you want to buy a prison basketball pack, a single pack of prison basketball hobby, to try to pull Giannis, fifty dollars I think, fifty sixty bucks a pack. Oh yeah, <laughs> it'll be uh, it'll be crazy. People will pay, but yeah, I mean that's a great part. That's a great thing about the hobby. You can, it's kind of like almost stock trading, you know. Sell the ones you think are going to dip and buy the ones you think are at good prices. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Surprised we don't have any Duke fans defending Zion's honor, uh, honor in the chat here. All right, we got a rookie credentials there, Jonathan Isaac. Kevin Garnett for the T-Wolves insert. There's a Sterling Brown rookie. There's a Wizards triple. There's some base. There's a John Stockton. Justin Jackson for the Kings, number 199. Rookie credentials. Jordan Bell to 199. CJ McCollum for the Blazers, who are currently down by 10 points to the Nuggets, third quarter. What do we have? One autograph for a box in this? Hakeem the Dream. Frank Nilakina, Lakers triple there. The autograph is Alex English, old school auto for the Nuggets. What's up, Joe? Is he really? I didn't know that. I thought he was totally out of league. Yeah, 13-14 was rough outside of Giannis. But, yeah, prison basketball pack from that year is still 50 bucks. So. Um, Carmelo to 93. That was the first year we started breaking that 13-14. I remember I pulled a couple Giannis RPAs to 99 from National Treasures, which I don't know, have to be over 10,000 at this point. But I think they were going for around 1,000, so maybe even more than 10,000 right now at this point. There's a Kobe. And some inserts there. Um, <clears throat> but 1314. Anthony Bennett obviously was the first pick. I'm trying to think who else was in that draft. It's, it's pretty slim pickings. Was Alfred Payton in there? Aaron Gordon or Alfred? Aaron Gordon was 14 15, maybe? Oh, yeah. Oladipo was in there. I'm trying to think. What were the teams I was selling in that year? Six years ago. That's too long for me. 
My brain is wiped from that time period. <clears throat> Especially basketball. We didn't do a ton of basketball. Oh, yeah. New Orleans Noel, Sixers. Right, right. Wasn't Dante Exum? Maybe he was the next year. CJ McCollum was there. Rudy Gobert. Oh, that's right. Michael Carter Williams. Didn't he? Yeah, he won Rookie of the Year and then got traded the next year. Yeah, that was a pretty rough class. Even at the time, it wasn't that great. But, I mean, somehow Giannis slipped to, what, 13th pick? 14th? 12th? Something like that. So, it just goes to prove that all these NBA scouts aren't always 100% uh, accurate. De'Aaron Fox to 299. But I guess international players are probably a lot harder to scout. To 149, Kyle Lowry. I don't know any international players this year's draft coming up. There's Alec Peters. Alec Peters autograph for the Suns. That is David Bruins. John Havlicek, rest in peace. I think he just passed away this weekend, right? There's TJ Leaf. There's number 199, Lakers edition of Brooke Lopez. Who was the Magic rookie? Was it? It wasn't Alfred Payton. Was it Vucevic? Nikola Vucevic? Jared Allen, relic. Rookie Essentials relic for the Brooklyn NETS 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 Nets. Todd Taylor. Oh, yeah, Otto Porter, huh? Yeah, can't you believe that? KCP was drafted ahead of... Uh, oh, Oladipo is. Oh, that's right. He was magic at that time. But the Thunder feel pretty stupid, huh? Trading away Oladipo and Sabonis. They're both pretty good players. I don't even remember who they got in return for that. I like De'Aaron Fox a lot. I think he'll be he'll be pretty solid. Although the Kings, they have their best record in like ten years, and then they fire their coach. So I'm not, I'm not sure about the management, but I think De'Aaron Fox will be will be a baller. I've already picked up some of his cards last year. I think I don't know what they've gone up or down since then though. I think he had a good. Okay season, right? Okay season. Not like superstar, but not terrible. Aaron Fox. I was saying I picked up some of his rookies from Prism last year before this season started. And then uh, I was wondering if they gone up or down yet because I didn't really check. 
You think De'Aaron Fox is too, too stuff is too high, Ray? Damn. You down on my guy De'Aaron Fox and Zion? Who do you like, Ray? Give me some guys I should be buying now. Or do you think we should... <laughs> you think I should sell everybody? Um, oh, yeah. Luke Walton, yeah, until that whole... Uh, until that whole sexual assault thing. Oh, you th oh, Fox is going to be great. Okay, I thought you were talking about Fox. Oh, Giannis. Okay. I see, I see, I see. I got gotcha. you. To 149, there's a Pistons triple. I see. Yeah, Giannis stuff is pretty crazy. I do agree, though. It's it's tough to, uh, to win in the playoffs without <coughs> shooting, especially in today's NBA. I just think, imagine if Giannis played like 10, 15 years ago. 20 years ago. All right, to 199, Wesley Owindu for the Magic. Yeah, Luka Doncic is pretty good. He is pretty good. The thing about Luka Doncic is he's got a amazing coach, too. Look at that, Grand Hill. Heard this guy was pretty good. Three color patch for the Pistons, six out of ten. What a hit for fourteen ninety nine there. A little bit of the Pistons red peeking there. Detroit Rock City, going out to Sam Rong. I like Sexton too. Before everyone was just like I think five thirty eight that analytics website. They said he was like having one, one of the worst seasons that any basketball player has ever had, basically, is what they said. And at the end of the year, they had a stat where it's like, oh, he, he actually wasn't that bad. We lied. Or he improved greatly. I was like, come on, guys. 538, not a great track record of, of being right in big things like the election. To 299, Rudy Gobert. Jazz, that is... Going out to Chris Layton. I like SGA a lot too. Yeah. Shea Gilgis Alexander, I think, would be really good. He was great in that series against the Warriors. He had that one game where he looked lights out on uh, on Easter Sunday, I think it was. There's Yvonne Robb for the Grizzlies. Chris Layton. Well, yeah, especially now since every collegiate players one and done so, i mean these guys are entering the nba when they're 18 so yeah i'd definitely give them a few years to to blossom that one's 299 of 299 how about that that's a triple russell westbrook paul george and carmelo anthony that's ted with that one good old ebay 101 But yeah, I was saying about Luca. His ceiling is just even higher because he's got a great coach. Rick Carlisle is a great coach. I mean, Mark Cuban's not afraid to spend money on other free agents. You got Porzingis there. And there's Terrence Ferguson at 149. They'll have a good pick this year, I think, right? So I think for sure the Mavericks are a pretty, pretty good team in the future. Dirk's out of the way, so... You have some of the younger guys get some minutes. All right, box four. You know who is underrated? I think is uh, is Bradley Beal. I know he's been in the league for a while, but he's only what like twenty five, maybe twenty four. And I mean, he had I think. The most minutes played by far this year. I mean, he had that team without John Wall. He had that team on his back. Yeah, Markel Fultz. I, don't, I mean, he's been gone and forgotten, basically. But yeah. Orlando's an interesting team. 
for sure. I mean, Isaac and Bamba, I don't know how well they'll do in the NBA. I'm hoping pretty well. I like Isaac a lot. Florida State guy. Obama, Texas. The thing about them is just Orlando is just, they're all tall. Really tall team. You have uh, Vucevic, Gordon, Isaac, Bamba. All these long guys. Why was that upside down? I thought it was Hakeem Lajuan Auto for a minute. Status quo Dirk. There's Larry. Larry Legend at 299 for the Celtics. That's Alan Murdoch. Ingram's a, a, probably a great guy, too, although I don't know about his health. To 75, Jeff Teague. T-Wolves, that's Chris. You know what one guy is that I we've totally forgotten about is, uh, is Andrew Wiggins. Now, since Luka Doncic, and I'm sure Ben Simmons would have eclipsed it if he had autographs. There's a Cavaliers triple. Andrew Wiggins was the hottest selling team, Timberwolves, in 14-15. Uh, I think we were selling hit the T-Wolves for more than what the Mavs were, Mavericks were selling for. I mean, he was so hyped. There's Draymond Green. It's just crazy. Now you don't hear from him too much. Paul Harden-Anderson. Jabari Parker to 299. Another guy from the same draft. He was drafted after Wiggins. Who now he's... He was with the Bucks. He was with the Bulls. And now where is he? Uh, where did he get traded to from the Bulls? Some team. Triple Spurs. Ingram will be ready to go this year. I think he hit his stuff probably... Probably a good buy now. Although with LeBron, it's kind of hard to be a superstar. There's rookie credentials there. Derek White. It's 199. Kent Bazemore. I'll tell you what. Nikola Jokic, his, his stock has been rising all year too. And we have a new breed autograph for the Knicks. That is Frank Nilakina. Frank Nilakina for the New York Knicks. Going out to Todd Taylor. Oh, the Wizards. That's right. That's right. I forgot who got him. And isn't he a free agent this year, too? I'm sure he'll be on another team. Final box. Good luck. Then we have contenders number 19 or 18, sorry, 18 coming up. And then anything else that sells out while I'm breaking these, we'll uh, we'll break tonight. If not, we'll uh, see everyone back here tomorrow. Be reloading the store. Going to be adding a baseball mixer. We may or may not be giving away a Vlad Guerrero Jr. signed baseball because he just got called up in that mixer. Maybe or maybe not. Just pretend to be surprised because I'm posting that later tonight and it's not on the website yet. That's what you get tonight. Late night, you get the scoop, Scoop City. Not sure what teams are going to, or if it's going to be picker teams or random teams, and I'm not sure if it's going to be. What boxes? So I have I gotta decide that after I s sign off. Um, Ingram's better. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem with Lonzo Ball too. Lonzo Ball and LeBron. I mean, they both gotta have the ball to kind of do their work. I feel like. Although I guess he was. They were doing pretty good when that LeBron injury killed the Lakers this year. I think they would have made the playoffs.
at least probably lost in the first round, but they would have at least made it. Jeremy Lin to 299. Another guy who's been on at least 10 teams. Lin Sanity. For the Nets. And a triple. But basketball, I feel like, is definitely the best sport to kind of play the, play the stocks. Kind of. Buy or sell who you like because they have such long careers in the NBA. Baseball too, I guess. Baseball, Bo McClone, but you have to be big in the prospects to, to be able to pull that off. And do it well, I guess. Speaking of them, there's a Markel Fultz auto. Goes to the Philadelphia 76ers. Still in the Sixer uni on this one, number 149. Hey, you never know. Might be turning his career around soon. Still pretty young. What, 20 years old maybe? 19? Um, Philadelphia 76ers, that's Jared. Not bad for $14.99. Chris Dunn to one ninety nine Chicago Bulls. Twenty. Twenty games. Maybe ten. I'm not buying into that holiday Lopez tandem. There's Clay to one ninety nine. Where's Clay gonna end up? Is he gonna re sign with the Warriors or what? Everyone talks about Durant. Where's Durant gonna go? Everyone talks about Kyrie Irving. No one talks about this guy, Clay Thompson. Is he just a given gonna re sign with Golden State? And then we, the last one there is Jeff Hornacek. So there you go. That was status break seven. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. We'll have more status in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks, everybody.